Good day, guys. Thanks for visiting That Journal Guy. My name is Richard, and I apologize that I haven't been posting much on my YouTube. If you've been following me either on Facebook or on Instagram, um, you'll see that I've been posting a little bit more often, but I haven't posted anything in over a month here. So if you've been following, thank you for subscribing. I do apologize for the content, and I'm hoping with my altered schedule now, I'll be able to post more often. So today I'm recording two videos, and this is the first one that I'm sharing with you. It's actually a storage solution idea using a Husky um, toolkit that I got from Home Depot. So I'm going to put it on the tabletop and I'll give you a closer look of how I'm using this 12 inch toolkit as a solution for um, supplies. And I'll actually just show you a quick preview of what I'm holding inside of it. <laughs> so it's actually yeah, it's kind of almost a confession of a stationary nerd herd kind of person. <laughs> um, it's uh, yeah, it, it's actually proving itself to be um, a really good portable solution within my apartment, and uh, and it really holds a lot of stuff if you don't have um, uh, a solution like a to store like if you don't have room for a big desk. Like I've I've seen some awesome stationary desks, and I, I don't have that room to do that. So I have to sort of carry all my supplies with me and sort of either go on my couch or on my bed and I want all my supplies near me. So I'll actually bring a couple of these with me to wherever I'm sitting in my apartment and I'll just have my tools on hand, so to speak. So yeah, so I'm gonna just give you a quick tabletop view of what it looks like and hopefully it might inspire you. I have to give credit to where credit is due though. I did not originally think of this idea. It's actually uh, a person in Victoria on one of the beginner bullet group sorry, beginner, bullet journal beginners groups that posted the idea and she has a 15 inch uh, version. This is the 12 inch and the 12 inch came in a two pack over at Home Depot. So it was um, a really cool idea and I actually augmented it myself with some Dollarama canisters as I'll show you in a moment. And yeah, it's proven to be a really good storage solution. So take it as you will. I hope maybe it'll be a little bit of inspiration to repurpose something that you uh, might have lying around and uh, may solve some of your storage uh, problems if it comes to an overabundance of, of stationary and or writing utensils. So let's take a closer look at this on the tabletop now. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've got my solution, my storage solution here. Now this is just a canister that I bought at Dollarama for $1.50 and uh, it's a nice square pencil cup basically, right? And I, I just kept the label on there because I, you know, it's, it's out of sight anyway. This is the Husky 12 inch toolkit. You can see how roomy it is inside without the pens inside. And there are three pockets in the, on the outside. So that comes in handy. Now the, the Victoria posted her Husky toolkit was actually a 15 inch one, which actually has pockets all, all around, which really makes it more of a portable workspace or, um, you know, toolkit work for your workspace than this one. But uh, when I ordered this, I didn't realize it wasn't the same size, but uh, I'm, I'm utilizing this 12 inch one just as well and find that it's a very, very, uh, a very economic storage solution for uh, being a pen hoarder like I am. <laughs> so um, th so what, what the pencil cases are for is that I found that you can fit six of these inside of here, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. So basically if you have something like this where I've got a whole bunch of these scattered, you know, I've got some super tips and my, my gel pens and stuff like that, you can just sort of put them in there and stick it into the bag, right? And actually I've got a few other ones that are full. Here's my, my newer super tips. And then I've got some fat markers right there. <coughs> Pardon me, more fat markers. <laughs> and I've got uh, some brush pens and more um, dual tip pens there. And then my last one is just a bunch of random markers and some intensity pens by Bic. Yeah, there you go, see? So it actually works really well. Now there's even actually some room here for miscellaneous things. I have in my second Husky bag, I've actually got my Mod Podge um, kit in here where it's just, it sits in there with, with all the foam brushes that I use to make my custom covers for my thing. And if you see, it zips up very well into this very compact kit, right? And the outside is actually really good, which I've got some random stuff here that I also keep on the outside. Um, so I've got a few of my jelly rolls here. They'll fit in here, as well as my pencils and my 
my general writing pen. It's not the same as my, my gel pen, but just something to scribble with. So you can put those on the outside and yeah, that's, that's basically it. So it's a fairly simple idea and it isn't meant for uh, stationary, but it really works well. Again, Victoria, thank you for posting that on Facebook a while, a while ago, many a couple months ago now. Um, but this was a really super cool idea. So I hope that maybe it inspires you and I hope that you will stay tuned for more and I will try to post as often as I can. So again, it's Richard, that journal guy. Thank you for visiting and I hope this inspires you uh, if you are looking for a new storage solution for your, your uh, pen hoard. So have a good one guys, journal on and we'll see you in the next video.